Welcome to the first section of our guide. Take control of your money. You work hard for your money, so don't let it slip through your fingers. Taking control of your finances is crucial for a secure future. Budgeting is the key. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your money. With a budget, you can achieve your financial goals and live a more fulfilling life. Many people avoid budgeting because it sounds restrictive. But budgeting is not about deprivation. It's about freedom. Freedom from debt, stress and financial worries. When you budget, you decide where your money goes instead of wondering where it went. Imagine this. You're finally able to take that dream vacation, buy a home or retire comfortably. These dreams become achievable with a solid budget. Budgeting provides a roadmap to financial success. It helps you stay on track and avoid common financial pitfalls. Take charge of your financial well-being. Start budgeting today and unlock a brighter financial future. It's never too late to take control and start building the life you deserve. Remember, you're in the driver's seat of your financial journey. Now let's move to step one. Track your spending. Know where your money goes. The first step to effective budgeting is understanding your spending habits. Track your expenses for a month. Write down every dollar you spend. Use a notebook, a spreadsheet, or a budgeting app. Categorize your spending. Common categories include housing, transportation, food, utilities, entertainment, and debt payments. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going. Analyze your spending patterns. Identify areas where you tend to overspend. Are you eating out too much? Do you have unnecessary subscriptions? Recognizing these patterns is key to making changes. Tracking your spending can be eye-opening. It reveals your spending habits, both good and bad. This awareness is crucial for creating a realistic and effective budget. It's the foundation for making informed financial decisions. Moving on to step two, set realistic goals. Define your financial dreams. What do you want to achieve with your money? Setting financial goals is essential for budgeting success. Your goals provide direction and motivation. They give your budget a purpose. Your goals can be short-term, mid-term, or long-term. Short-term goals might include paying off a credit card or saving for a down payment. Mid-term goals could be saving for a child's education or buying a new car. Long-term goals often involve retirement planning. Make your goals specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. For example, instead of saying I want to save more, set a specific goal like I will save $5,000 for a down payment on a car within two years. Writing down your goals makes them more tangible. Post them somewhere visible as a constant reminder. Regularly review and update your goals as your life circumstances change. Remember, your goals should inspire and motivate you to make smart financial decisions. Finally, let's discuss step three. Create a budget that works, the spending plan. Now it's time to create your budget. This is your personalized spending plan. It outlines your income and expenses. It helps you allocate your money wisely. Start with your income. Include all sources of income such as your salary, wages, bonuses, and any side hustles. Be realistic about your income. Don't overestimate or underestimate it. Next, list your expenses. Use the information you gathered from tracking your spending. Categorize your expenses and estimate how much you spend in each category. Be thorough and include everything. Subtract your total expenses from your total income. If you have money left over, that's your surplus. You can use it for savings, investments, or debt repayment. If your expenses exceed your income, you need to make adjustments. Creating a budget takes effort, but it's worth it. It gives you a clear picture of your financial situation. It helps you make conscious decisions about your spending and saving. Section 5, Step 4, The 50-30-20 Rule, A Simple Budgeting Framework. The 50-30-20 rule is a popular budgeting method. It's a simple framework for allocating your after-tax income. It can help you create a balanced budget. Allocate 50% of your income to needs. Needs are essential expenses that you can't live without. These include housing, groceries, utilities, transportation, and healthcare. Use 30% of your income for wants. Wants are non-essential expenses that you enjoy but don't need to survive. These include dining out, entertainment, hobbies, and travel. Save and invest the remaining 20% of your income. This includes saving for retirement, an emergency fund, a down payment on a house, or other financial goals. The 50-30-20 rule is a guideline, not a strict rule. You can adjust the percentages based on your individual circumstances and financial goals. The key is to find a balance that works for you. 
Section 6, Step 5, Prioritize Your Spending Needs Versus Wants Distinguishing between needs and wants is crucial for effective budgeting. Needs are essential for your well-being and survival. Wants are things you desire but can live without. When creating your budget, prioritize your needs over your wants. Make sure you have enough money to cover your essential expenses before allocating funds to non-essential items. Sometimes the line between needs and wants can be blurry. For example, a car is a necessity for many people to get to work. But a luxury car is a want, not a need. Be honest with yourself about your spending habits. Are you spending more on wants than you realize? If so, look for areas where you can cut back. Remember, every dollar you save on wants is a dollar you can allocate to your needs or financial goals. Section 7, Step 6. Embrace frugality. Little savings, big impact. Frugality is not about being cheap. It's about being resourceful and making the most of your money. It's about finding creative ways to save money without sacrificing your quality of life. Look for discounts and deals. Use coupons, shop sales, and buy in bulk when it makes sense. Negotiate prices whenever possible, such as for cable bills or insurance premiums. Consider cheaper alternatives. Can you cook at home instead of eating out? Can you find free or low-cost entertainment options? Small changes in your spending habits can lead to significant savings over time. Embrace a mindset of gratitude and contentment. Appreciate what you have instead of constantly wanting more. Avoid impulse purchases and think before you spend. Remember, small savings add up over time. Section 8. Step 7. Emergency Fund. Your financial safety net. Life is unpredictable, isn't it? Unexpected expenses can arise at any time. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. It provides a cushion to cover unexpected costs without derailing your finances. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. This should be enough to cover essential expenses like rent, utilities, groceries, and transportation in case of job loss, medical emergency, or other unforeseen circumstances. Keep your emergency funds separate from your regular checking account. This will help you avoid accidentally spending it. Consider opening a high-yield savings account to earn interest on your savings. Having an emergency fund provides peace of mind. It knows that you have a financial cushion to fall back on if the unexpected happens. Start building your emergency fund today and enjoy greater financial security. Section 9. Step 8. Review and adjust keep your budget flexible. Budgeting is not a one-time task, it's an ongoing process. Your income, expenses, and financial goals may change over time. It's essential to review and adjust your budget regularly. Review your budget at least monthly. Compare your actual spending to your budgeted amounts. Identify any areas where you overspent or underspent. Analyze the reasons for these variances and make adjustments as needed. Be flexible with your budget. Don't be afraid to make changes if something isn't working. Life is full of surprises, and your budget should be adaptable to your evolving circumstances. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your budget ensures that it remains relevant and effective. It helps you stay on track with your financial goals and make informed decisions about your money. Section 10, Step 9, Seek Support. You're not alone. Managing your finances can feel overwhelming at times. Don't be afraid to seek support if you need it. Many resources are available to help you with budgeting and financial planning. Talk to a financial advisor. A financial advisor can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your specific situation and goals. They can help you create a budget, develop a debt management plan, or plan for retirement. Consider joining a financial support group. Connecting with others who are also working on their finances can provide motivation and accountability. You can share tips, challenges, and successes with each other. Remember you're not alone in this journey. Many people struggle with managing their finances. Seeking support can provide valuable insights, encouragement, and accountability. Section 11. Conclusion. Your journey to financial freedom starts now. Mastering your money is a journey, not a destination. Budgeting is the roadmap to financial freedom. It empowers you to make conscious decisions about your money, achieve your financial goals, and live a more fulfilling life. Start by tracking your spending, setting realistic goals, and creating a budget that works for you. Embrace frugality, prioritize your spending, and build an emergency fund. Review and adjust your budget regularly, and seek support when needed. Remember, financial freedom is within your reach. 
Take control of your finances today and start building the future you deserve. It's never too late to start, and the rewards are well worth the effort. You've got this.